In this episode, I'm not happy with my results. Mm. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Test, 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 Ickles, test, Ickles. Welcome, everyone, to episode 564 of The Daily Mother Swole, the most muscular swole cast, beard cast, and broadcast in the realm. Ah, ah, ah. Because when I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps. Me, 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 me. I don't know what the fuck that was. Flex them if you got them. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, and this episode is all about, and I'm going to dig into this, like a, we're going right to the fucking taint. Balls deep, like Papa Swilio always does. Some knowledge fisting and knowledge nukes for you on a Tuesday. How long will it take? Was yesterday, and today is, I am not happy with my results. How long will it take, and I am not happy with results, are the ultimate back-to-back episode. So if you didn't watch yesterday's 563, make sure you go check it out. Today's I'm Not Happy With My Results. I'm gonna jump into that right now. And I hope you're enjoying the beginning of your week. I know it's Thanksgiving week where you're gonna be inundated with leftovers and fucking pies and all that shit. We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about it, especially when we get up into Thursday's episode. But first, let's do the Solnormous Community Review of the Day. And this one is from Heath Riley. And he says... Swolnormous X is the way to go. Tons of stuff at a very low price. Super excited and proud to be a part of it. Glad I've found someone and something that has benefited me now and for years to come. Thank you so much, Heath. I truly appreciate that positive feedback. And if any of you are interested in hooking into Swolnormous X, my private membership community, fitness platform with all my programs, lesson packs, master classes, programs, everything that I do, plus the community forums, everything in one spot. Join your fitness family today, swolnormousx.com. Enrollment closes in just a few days, so don't miss out on that. Thank you so much, Heath. Really appreciate it. Let's get into the question of the day. Ask Papa Swolio, and this is from Facebook, from Alex Stritveen. Stritveen? I like that name. Alex Stritveen. And he asks, I love doing crossover and bench press, but recently I've been restricted to the weight I can push or bench because my left shoulder gets sharp shooting pain. I notice it during lateral raises as well. Any tips, tricks, or advice you could give me, please, and thanks. Love your episodes, Papa Swolio. Keep hammering. Thank you so much, Alex. I appreciate the question. And let's jump into it. And you would be benefiting greatly from... Uh, all the content that I've done on crossovers and balancing out posture and dynamic posture with the shoulder, the shoulder workshops and master classes in Solnormous X. Balance is important. Balance is important, especially around a mobile joint like the shoulder. So if you like crossovers and bench press, but you've been having a shoulder pain, it's because there's some sort of impingement, most likely. I shouldn't say definitely because you never know what's going in there unless you do an MRI. And I'm not saying go get an MRI, but a lot of times pain in the shoulder is because there's an imbalance and you're having some friction and rubbing on the rotator cuff muscles and the, th- the elements that are trying to sneak through little bony protrusions and little caves and canals in the shoulder. There's a lot of little tiny bony pathways and little openings, and the muscles actually run through them. So if your joint is not aligned properly, if you're sitting down, hunched over, you don't do enough stretching, enough opening exercises, you don't activate your middle traps, lower traps, doing external rotations, doing preventative exercise, like preventive injury exercises, practice yoga and all that stuff, you can have friction and that friction can lead to pain or shooting pain. It's not a nerve problem per se, but it is a sharp pain because there's actually impinging. There's, it's called an impingement. So my tips and tricks and advice would be to practice foam rolling, foam roll and do release techniques for the chest, for the muscles on the front, lay off doing anterior deltoid, back off a little bit from your chest exercises and start doing some prone presses, some cobras, start activating your middle and lower trapezius, start practicing yoga and working on the muscles that you can't see in the mirror because those are the ones that are going to be the most effective in preventing that pain from uh, increasing and from persisting in your training and being a a hindrance for your fitness. So thank you so much, Alex, for your question. If you have a question, 
you want Papa Swole to feature on the Daily Swole, drop it below in the comments right now with the hashtag Ask Papa Swolio. And uh, what are your thoughts right now? What are your thoughts, fam? Those of you that are watching on YouTube, that are watching here on Facebook, what are your thoughts about shoulder pain? Have you had shoulder pain? And what did you do? What did you do to fix that shoulder pain? So thank you, Alex, for the question. And those of you that are still on the fence for Soul Normous X, you know enrollment's ending, but you might just want to roll the dice and see if you can win. See if you can win. I would not wait till the last moment, but to see if you could win a full month to Soul Normous X, all you got to do is join the Daily Swole Club. And how do you do that? You drop a comment with a tag. So you tag a friend, drop an awesome comment with the hashtag Daily Swole Club right below in the comments, right here on YouTube and on Facebook. Daily Swole Club, hashtag Daily Swole Club, comment and tag a friend for a chance to win one free month to the amazing Soul Normous X platform. Episode 564, underway. Great questions, great reviews, great awesome shit. I hope you enjoyed all of that, and I hope you enjoy me dipping into the community. And this is what, that's why I do this. And some people are going to be like, well, you know, the content doesn't start till six or seven minutes in. Well, fuck you. This is all content. This is all content. This is all great because we are doing something different here, uh, folks. This is different than just your average. I'm not sitting here just to hear myself talk. I'm sitting here to give you value. I'm sitting here to give you feedback. I'm sitting here to interact with you, to hear what you have to say and give you information and give you answers that are applicable to you. So it's up to you whether you want to participate, whether you want to drop a question or a comment. But I highly encourage you, and this is why this platform, that's why this community is so tight because you start to get to know people, you get to know names, you get to know each other, and you start supporting each other. And that's why Solenormous X and the community forums inside the private Solenormous X platform, that's why it's so powerful, because people can come together and really get in touch and really connect. And that's what I'm doing here. So thank you so much for all your questions. Thank you so much for your comments, your positivity. Uh, loving it. So episode 564, I'm not happy with my results. As we're here, as I live and breathe, I am trying to give you value. And this segues into what we were just talking about a moment ago. But I'm trying to give you value. I'm trying to give you things and go over content and go over subjects that are going to help you the most. And when I create a program like in Swinormous X, when I create my 90-day dash program, when I create lesson packs, when I create content and trainings and master classes, when I do these things, it's because it has context. It's, It's geared towards a fitness life, not just a lifestyle, but a life, a existence and existence wrapped around fitness and health and longevity and doing this for the long term, not just for now, but for always. And to not be happy with the results is really tapping into that emotional aspect where you can listen to your instincts, but whether or not you feel happy, that's going to come and go. You're never going to be fully satisfied. Being satisfied and happy are two different things, but not being happy with your results. The fact that you are getting results is amazing. I think we put results on a pedestal. We put these transformations all the way up at the top and we forget that how rare a transformation is. Not very few of us have any kind of physique that we need to transform or either look average or like, what am I going to do to transform my physique? Just gain like 50 pounds of muscle. Like what do you consider a transformation? So first off a transformation is, you know, a foof word. It's very subjective. You can call transformation, you know, a, a caterpillar to a butterfly. You can call transformation 10 pounds lost. I think transformations happen up top. I think all the transformations happen in the brain above the neck. I don't think it happens muscularly at all. I think it all happens up here in the brain. And I think that's why so many people don't transform. So many people don't find peace and happiness with their results and with their fitness because they don't transform up top. They don't transform their brain, how they think about things. Because right now, you watching Facebook, YouTube, or those of you listening to the podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes, you have the ability to change everything right now just by how you think about it. So the transformation starts up top. If you're not happy with the results, ask yourself this question. Are you getting results? Are you just not ha- moving at the speed that you would prefer? Which then begs the question, who the fuck do you think you are? Who the fuck do you think you are? You think you're just going to be motivated to do fitness, to do fitness, to do the exercise, to, to do the workouts. And you're just going to be blessed with results just because you're doing it, because you're going through the motions. You're not doing it well enough. If you're not getting the results that you want, you're probably not doing it well enough. So own that, own your own failure, own your, what your actions did to fall short, and then fucking change that and understand that you should love who you are as you are. And that it is the journey. It's the process of going through this and figuring things out and trying new things because you're going to change what you're happy with. Now you won't be in five years. 
And when you're happy with now, you're not going to have in 10 years. So the body you have now is not going to exist in 20 years, no matter what you do. It's going to go away and you're going to eventually decay and you're going to die. And that's just the fact of it. But you can make your life more fruitful by being active, by working on all these little small things now that most people overlook, which is why they have regrets and they're miserable and they're immobile in their older age. So don't think about it in terms of happiness. Think about it as execution and the journey and the process of it because that's all going to change. You need to change and transform what's up top for you to really, really, really get the results that you want. If you want your question featured right here on The Daily Swole, remember, comments, questions below, hashtag Ask Papa Swolio. And the question of the day today is, are you happy with your results? Are you happy with where you are with your fitness? Are you happy where you are? And if not, you need to ask yourself why and what you can do about it. And that's just one more reason to hook into the Small Normas X community. If you're floating around and you're lost and you feel like you just don't have any leg to stand on and you don't know what to do in the gym, you don't have any support at home, this is the community, this is the family that's for you. So check out SoulNormousX.com. That is the question of the day. That is the topic. What are your thoughts? Drop in the comments below. Ask Papa Swolio, Daily Swole Club. Join all aspects of this broadcast. And above all, check out SoulNormousX.com for all my content, all my programs and everything that I put my fucking heart and soul into. And I can't wait. Every time I finish an episode, I can't wait to go in there and check the forums and, and see what's up and, um, and give everyone feedback. So uh, really proud of the community in there. I'm really proud of you. And thank you so much for joining this and being a part of all of this that we do every single day. Uh, it means the world. And um, have a great rest of your Tuesday. It's a big week. Give thanks. Make sure you appreciate what you have in your life right now and take action today. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 564 of The Daily Mother, a swole, the most muscular broadcast, beard cast, swole cast, gain cast, podcast in the realm. Because when I pinch my nipples and flex my biceps, we all flex our biceps and pinch your nipples. Pinch them right now. Pinch them right now for Papa Swolio. And then drop in the comments below if it felt good. I think, it, I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. Peace, me, deuce, magoose. I'll see y'all tomorrow, Wednesday, hump day for episode 565. Later. <laughs>